Okay, so just to repeat back the order, you want you wanted two double cheeseburgers, a fries, and a large Coke. Oh no, sorry, we we don't have any of that. You're at the wrong place. Who is this again? Guys, you got another custom e-bike build for you. This one's the Trek Verve 3, the high step version. Uh, I'm gonna go over what I did to it, what makes this bike awesome, and we're gonna do some giant nerd out tests. We're gonna see how fast I get this thing to go using only throttle and see what kind of hills this thing could climb. If you're new to this channel, this is what I do. I convert bikes into e-bikes. You guys probably already know that. You've probably seen my other videos. So thanks for stopping by again, old friend. How are you? Enough about me, what about you? This is the Trek Verve 3. They also make the Verve in the low step. These are comfort street cruisers. You can tell because you can see the handlebars are up higher than the seat and it comes with the adjustable stem here. I don't know if all of them do, but you could adjust it, which is nice. We see you just gotta lock this thing down where you want it, but yeah. Nice, comfortable seating position. See how, see how I am? I'm not like hunched down. This is a nice, comfortable cruiser. It's got big tires, but not super big where they're not, you know, where they're super roll resistance. These are, these are 700 by 45 tires. These are about the biggest that they make in 700 C's, I would say. So these are big round ones and thick. But yeah, it's got a nine speed, Shimano Acera derailleur. We put a gear shift sensor on it in between there, so when you're shifting gears, it just cuts power for a second, lets it shift gears and lets you on your merry way. We want the BBS O2 motor by Bafang. It's a 750 watt nominal power. Uh, cranks out about 1300 watts at peak. When paired with this 52 volt 17 amp hour. It pairs well with this battery, I would say. This is one of my favorite batteries. I like using this one a lot. This is one I like to carry. It's just, it's a big range until they get more energy dense cells, until these are like 52 volt, you know, 20 to 30 amp hours in this same size. This is gonna be my favorite pack to go with for a while. Um, we went with the 500C color display. It's just, it's my favorite color display. If you don't need a USB out, it's nice, small color, shows you voltage, shows you all your pertinent information. Um, next to it, we got the throttle. It's got Shimano hydraulic disc brakes. This thing's gonna brake well. We put on hydraulic brake cutoff sensors on there. So it just, there's just magnets that you super glue on. And when you brake, it just pulls the magnets apart and it tells the motor to, hey, Let's stop. They're trying to slow down. Don't send power accidentally. Yeah, this was a this is a nice, comfortable build. If you're looking for something that, you know, if you're getting kind of like me, where you're, you're you're easing more towards comfort, I would get this. I would put a King Creek uh, saddle saddle post on this so that it would absorb more bumps and rough terrain. Definitely put that on. Uh, it does have rack mounts here, so you can put a rack on here. I would definitely do that. I'm all about doing utility, and it does have rack mounts uh, up front as well. So you could, you know, mount something there. It has a, you could also put a fender on here, front and rear. All right, let's go do a Johnny Nerd Out test, see how this thing does top speed and hill climbing only by throttle. I don't pedal at all on this, so this is just to show you what the, the motor can do. And if you want to pedal, you know, just add a little bit to it. So this bike was about 1150 bucks for this conversion kit. For, for everything you see here, it's about 1150 bucks. So if you have this kind of bike and you want to convert it yourself, figure about 1150 bucks to get everything you get here to get this kind of performance. And you can see by the performance test, this thing climbs hills no problem. Top speed was, what, 36? Which is plenty fast, and I bet you'd It'd go even faster if I had more runway. Like if I was literally on an airport runway and I just had plenty of time to get up to, I bet you this thing would probably hit close to 40. But yeah, this is a great, comfortable bike. And they also make this in a low step. So if you feel like, you know, feel like me, or you're like, eh, and I want it, you can't do this, I'm showing off now. If you can't do that, get it in the low step. Nice, comfortable cruiser. And Specialized has a couple different ones too. 
the Roll Sport, really like those ones. Norco has some, the Scene, I really like those ones. The, this is gonna become a new hot segment, I think. A new, as people start getting older and they wanna be comfortable, but they still want a solid bike, this type of bike, I think, is gonna be very, very popular. All right, hopefully you guys found this helpful. See you later.